Hello, welcome. This next set of videos, I'm going to do C sharp on Linux. Can you believe that? I will be doing C sharp on Ubuntu. I'm a C sharp kind of guy. I've been doing C sharp for I don't know how many years, and I think it would be cool. So, still the .NET framework, but it's the Mono's implementation of the .NET framework. I don't really know if there's that much of a difference because I haven't done any production of this, but I still think it would be cool. So let's get started right away. As with any zero tutorial, and this is a zero tutorial because this is the first tutorial, we need to install some software. We're going to install the um, Mono Develop IDE. So it asks me for my password, and of course I give it to you, and it goes through this. At this point, I'm going to pause because it takes some time for it installs. So when it come when when it's finished installing, I will um, come back. Okay. So I'll just hit yes and go. Okay, so now that's finished installing. We can run the mono develop. P E V E L O P E. Alright, yep. There. Without the E. It's old English spelling. And we can start a new solution. Now we're gonna run into a problem soon so let's let's just walk that through let's just call this the hello and the location I want to create a new folder we'll call it mono develop without the E okay and we will point oh I didn't save it start it again Mono D E V E L O P enter there and we will open that for the location and forward ignore this for right now but we get this little test thing right here and if we uh, run it we get a message I just saw it pop up at the bottom here let me minimize this or hide this. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, run this again. Let me try it one more time. Right there. It says the XSP4 web server cannot be started. Basically, it's looking for the web server component to um, render the, the page. Well, that's very simple to do. So let's just close this down. Actually, we could have left it open, but I don't need to do that. And what we're going to do is we're going to install the XSP4. That's like, I guess the, um, it's supposed to be the, um, like, uh, what is it, ASP? But anyway, XXP4. And of course, it asked me to, um, if I want to install. <coughs> And I think this takes pretty short. Yes, it is. So it's, we can go back to Mono. Open up our solution. And now if we run it, um, everything seem, seems to look okay. There's another package that I think um, uh, we should install. Let me just close this down. Um, yeah, close the project. And there's an right here. It said something about um, blah, 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 blah. Oh, here this is okay. So this is when it was installing, right? And you have incomplete Debian wrap to fix it. Install it something like the .NET examples. Okay, right there it says to fix it. Just um, to so we'll do that. Uh, we will take that uh, suggestion and go install that. And you say yes. So our mono uh, installation should be error free and we're able to run the Hello World program via the web setting. 
Let's just do that one more time. Okay, this is the Hello World web. And now if we run this, it's actually the Click Me. And we get a web container pointing to the local host and you've clicked me. Basically it made a um, delivery to the server and came back. And that's what this um, little run does. It says run at server right there. So if we wanted to do a um, console application, new solution, and we do C sharp console application, and we would call this hello world. Okay. And we put the same th in the uh, mono develop and say um, forward. Okay. Close that project, open this project, and we run this project. And we see that it does the hello world. Um, message. So if you get this far, you have a good installation of Mono and come back. We'll dive right into class objects. Thank you for watching the show.